Are you head over heels in love, or is it just a passing crush? The difference between falling in love and crushing on someone can be subtle, but it's important to know the distinction. From intensity and attachment to fantasy and obsession, we'll explore the key differences between these two powerful emotions and help you understand which one you might be feeling. So buckle up, because this is a deep dive into the heart of love and attraction. Number 1. Intensity Intensity is one of the key differences between crushing on someone and falling in love with them. Crushes are often intense and all-consuming feelings that take over your thoughts and feelings. You might find yourself thinking about this person constantly, and your feelings might be very strong and overwhelming. However, crushes can also be fleeting and not necessarily last very long. In contrast, falling in love is a deeper and longer-lasting emotion. It involves a strong emotional connection with another person and a sense of attachment and commitment. While falling in love can also be intense, it is often characterized by a sense of stability and enduring connection, rather than the ups and downs that can come with a crush. Number 2. Lust versus Attachment Another key difference between crushing on someone and falling in love is the distinction between lust and attachment. Crushes are often driven by physical attraction and a desire to be with the other person. You might find yourself thinking about their appearance, their smell, and the way they make you feel when you're around them. In contrast, falling in love is often characterized by a strong emotional connection and attachment to the other person. You might feel a sense of caring and concern for them, and you might prioritize their happiness and well-being above your own. While physical attraction is certainly a part of falling in love, it is typically accompanied by a deeper emotional connection and attachment. Number 3. Idealization Idealization is another difference between crushing on someone and falling in love. When you have a crush on someone, you may idealize them and see them as perfect. You might overlook their flaws or dismiss them as minor, and you might have a very rosy and unrealistic view of who they are and what it would be like to be with them. In contrast, falling in love often involves a more realistic and nuanced understanding of the other person. You might still appreciate and admire them, but you also recognize and accept their flaws and imperfections. Falling in love involves a more balanced and realistic view of the other person, rather than an idealized version of them. Number 4. Fantasy versus Reality When you have a crush on someone, you might find yourself lost in a world of fantasy, imagining what it would be like to be with them or what your future together might look like. You might project your own desires and expectations onto the person you have a crush on, and you might not always see them clearly for who they really are. In contrast, falling in love is often characterized by a more grounded and realistic understanding of the other person. You might still have hopes and dreams for the future, but you also recognize and accept the other person for who they are, with all their strengths and flaws. Falling in love involves a deeper understanding and connection with the other person, rather than just a fantasy or projection. Number 5. Obsession versus Balance Obsession versus balance is another difference between crushing on someone and falling in love. When you have a crush on someone, you might find yourself becoming obsessed with them, thinking about them constantly and wanting to be with them all the time. Your crush might consume your thoughts and feelings, and you might have a hard time focusing on other things. In contrast, falling in love is often characterized by a sense of balance and being able to maintain one's own identity. While you might still feel strong feelings for the other person, you are also able to maintain your own sense of self and your own interests and activities. Falling in love involves a sense of mutual respect and connection with the other person, rather than an obsessive focus on them. Number 6. One-sided versus mutual. When you have a crush on someone, you might not be sure if your feelings are reciprocated, and you might find that your crush is one-sided. You might not be sure if the other person is interested in you or if they feel the same way, and this can be a difficult and uncertain experience. In contrast, falling in love involves mutual feelings and connection. Both people are attracted to each other and feel a strong emotional connection, and there is a sense of mutual respect and understanding between them. Falling in love involves a shared experience and a sense of connection and commitment. Number 7. Short-term versus long-term. 
Crushes are often short-term infatuations, and they may not necessarily lead to a long-term relationship. You might find that your crush fades over time, or that you realize that you are not compatible with the person you have a crush on. In contrast, falling in love is a longer-term commitment to another person. It involves a sense of connection and commitment that extends beyond just strong feelings in the present moment, and it involves a willingness to work on the relationship and build a future together. Falling in love is a deeper and more enduring emotion that can lead to a long-term partnership or marriage. In conclusion, falling in love and crushing on someone are two distinct emotions that can be experienced in different ways. Falling in love involves a deeper and longer-lasting emotional connection and attachment, while crushing on someone is often more intense and fleeting. Understanding the key differences between these emotions can help you better understand your own feelings and the nature of your relationship with someone else. Whether you are falling in love or just crushing on someone, it's important to be honest with yourself and the other person about your feelings and to respect each other's boundaries. Love is a complex and powerful emotion, and it's important to approach it with care and consideration. Can you say that you love someone? Or you are just crushing on them? Tell us in the comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. See you in the next video.